Praise God. The Bible says that God sent his son into the world to save sinners. And when a sinner gets saved, they stop practicing sin. They live holy. The Bible says that God's people is a holy nation, a holy people. And they are to set forth the praises of him who called them out of darkness into the kingdom of God. God's people live holy. And while you hear the preaching of God's word, you can live holy and be saved. You can come to Jesus, but you have to repent. God wants you to go to heaven. God wants you to go to heaven, but you have to come to his holy son, people. That's because of sin. We need to be saved. Everyone needs to be saved, and there's only one way to be saved. And you have to repent. Turn away from this ungodly world and believe on God's holy son. Believe on Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, people. Judgment day is coming. For God has appointed a day of judgment where he's going to judge the world in righteousness. God is going to judge the fornicator. There's many fornicators in this world. Fornication is sexual sin. It's sexual sin against God. And many people do different sexual things, and they're not married. They pervert the marriage bed. People, they have sex outside of marriage, and many people who are married that's not saved, they pervert the marriage bed with perversion. People, you have to keep the marriage bed holy. God is holy, but you have to come to God's holy son and get saved before you will ever want to live holy. And the way you get saved is you come to Jesus, believe on the Lord. The Bible says if you confess the Lord with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But you have to believe with a genuine heart of belief. Not just say, I believe, I believe, and have a false belief. The Bible says that these people, they honor Jesus with their mouth but their heart is far from him. They say, I believe. I believe in Jesus. I believe in God, but they are drunkards. They say, I believe in Jesus, but they have a filthy cussing mouth. They say, I believe in Jesus. And they scream out their cars saying, love is love because they are practicing homosexuality. And God hates homosexuality. God says that you have to live sexually pure people. Repent and get right with God and turn to Jesus. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will forgive you. He will lift you up. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into gloom and your joy into mourning. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will lift you up. But if you keep going on in pride, you're going to go on in sin. And then if you die like that, you will go to hell. There's only salvation in Jesus Christ. But you don't automatically get saved. You don't just go to God's holy heaven because Jesus died for sin. You have to pick up your cross and follow Jesus. Jesus picked up his cross he was crucified for sin. Now he says, you have to deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow him if you want to enter into the kingdom of God. You have to go the narrow way that leads to life. Jesus said, if you don't bear your cross and come after him, you will not be his disciple. If you don't forsake all, you will not be his disciple. You have to count the cost of walking with Jesus. You have to count the cost, people, it's going to cost you popularity because the world is going to hate you. It's going to cost you friendships because many of your friends that's living sinful, if you come to Jesus, they won't want Jesus and they won't like you anymore. It's going to cost you your job. You may work at some type of wicked store and you may have to quit your job because they got wicked cussing music playing. And God don't want you 
to be a partaker of ungodliness. The Bible says, Come out from amongst them and be separate, saith the Lord, and he will receive you. Touch not what is unclean. Yeah, sir. I hope you're not just saying that to be a mocker because many people do that and they mockers. Sir, don't mock God because one day you may die and burn in hell. Repent. Get right with Jesus. Turn to the Lord, people. There's a lot of mockers in this world. The Bible says mockers will come. In the last days, they will walk according to their own lust. They will be walking in sin. They will mock the Bible. They will mock God by the way they live. They will say they believe in Jesus. And they will be drunkards. They will be pornography watchers. They mockers. Mockers of God's holy way. And the Bible says that mockers will come. And this is where we are at. We are in the last days. And many of you out here, you are mockers. Many of you, you are mockers of God. And people, I I'm warning you in love, you have to repent. You have to get right with God. If you're not saved, you will go to hell. The Bible says in Matthew that God is going to command his angels to bind you hand and foot and cast you into the furnace of fire if you are not saved. You need to be saved and forgiven. You have to come to God, people. This is serious. Time is running out. Don't live worldly. Judgment is coming. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. There's only one way into God's holy heaven, and it's through his holy son, Jesus Christ. But the question is, what are you going to do? Are you going to keep living ungodly and saying no to God's holy son? Are you going to keep practicing sin and saying you believe in God and being a false Christian? Or are you going to come to God and humble your heart and turn away from your sin and live your life in obedience to God's Holy Son. Because the Bible says that without obedience, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hebrews 5.9 says that Jesus is the author of eternal salvation to all those who obey him. So by faith in Jesus Christ, you can obey God. By faith in Jesus Christ, you can overcome your sin. You can be free from sin. You can come to God and you can serve the kingdom of his son, Jesus Christ. The real Christians are out here preaching to sinners to get sinners saved, but you have to repent, people. Jesus died for your sin. But how will you be saved if you keep living ungodly? How will you be saved if you keep saying no, God, and you keep working sin? The Bible says on the day of judgment that God is going to separate the sheep from the goats and he's going to cast the goats into everlasting fire because the goats wasn't doing nothing. They was living ungodly. They didn't give water to the thirsty. They didn't feed those who were hungry. They didn't visit those people who were sick. They did not have compassion on those who were hurting. They was goats and they was living ungodly. And on the day of judgment, God is going to separate people like sheep and goats. And the sheep are going to go into God's everlasting kingdom. And the goats are going to go into everlasting fire. They're going to be burned in everlasting burnings. And while you hear the preaching of God's word, you don't have to go to hell. That's the message of God's Bible, sir. It's don't go to hell. God doesn't want people to go to hell. But you have to repent. That's what you got to do. I hope so, sir. I hope so. What type of Christian are you, though? Because there's false Christians and real Christians. A, a Baptist? Do you do you practice sin every day? You live holy? Well, yeah, but you don't justify sin. And also, sir, if you're a real Christian, you're going to be out in the streets preaching to sinners. The real church is preaching God's word to get sinners saved. So, yeah, well, tighten up, you know, tighten up the loose ends because judgment's coming, sir, and you don't want to hear God say, cast that unprofitable servant into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You want to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You preached my word. You was faithful to me. You lived holy. You want to hear God say, enter into my kingdom. Because many people, they're going to hear, depart from me, O oh, you worker of sin. That's what they're going to hear. And they're going to go into everlasting fire. So tighten up 
the loose ends, sir, and, and be faithful to God because judgment's coming. Life is serious. Judgment is coming. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Time is running out, people. You don't have a long time left. You need to repent while you hear the preaching of God's word being preached.